you want to analyze the sample is first you two or two both form the sample okay these two is the sample the sample has actually two components you want to identify the compounds whether it is uh, daniel or fish you want to identify that's the sample the sample has to be mixed with the solvent okay because for flame photometry we require a liquid sample so it is mixed with carpi carpi is the solvent so we will get now the solvent with the sample okay so now we have the solvent as well as the sample so before this introduced into your flame photometer this has to be mixed with your oxidant and fuel just put your hands there pinadi ninga just pinadi ninga kai mal so the oxidant and the fuel are mixed with your sample so now we have the total mixture which contains the sample solvent oxidant and fuel okay now this entire combination so we have the flame we have the flame this is the pre heating zone we have the primary reaction zone intermolar zone secondary reaction zone and this is the detector is the detector okay now when they approach the primary pre heating zone it increases the energy level the energy level of the sample is increased okay the energy level of the sample is increased to the flame temperature you could say that the oxygen fuel will remain there because the burning has to continue now these three alone approach the primary reaction zone so when it approaches the solvent is evaporated and the molecule gets dissociated the molecule gets dissociated we have two parts two elements now these two molecules once are getting dissociated they approach the intermolar zone because of the very high temperature in the intermolar zone the molecules are excited to ion state the molecules are now in the ion state as they come to the normal energy state they emit fluorescence okay they emit the actual flame that flame is obtained by the detector the flame is obtained by the detector and you get your final representation of your flame photo okay and the purpose of the secondary reaction zone is to eat any other emanating vapors that are present that happens during the chemical reaction okay so this is how your flame photometer works okay